Let's go to Jill because this morning, everyone has their eye to the sky awaiting the big eclipse in about two and a half hours or so, right? Yeah, Jill? they sure do. And that's why I'm starting out with radar this morning. So you can get a live look at what the skies are looking like this morning. And look at this. We have a, a disturbance that's moving through northern Utah right now. So there's going to be some of you across northern Utah that might not get a glimpse at the eclipse. And it's going to be extreme northern Utah in Cache Valley down to about Ogden. I think if you're in Salt Lake City and south of Salt Lake, you'll get a pretty good view. In central Utah, I still think we'll get a good view. In fact, in Delta and Richfield, where a lot of people have gathered, I'm forecasting a few clouds. And then in places like Capitol Reef and Blanding, I don't think we'll have any clouds. And temperatures will be in the 50s, right around 1030, when you're supposed to look at the sun as the moon travels over it. But remember, you need those glasses. <laughs> those glasses were hard to get. I went to a few stores yesterday. Uh, I think the planetarium might still have them, but you can see Richfield and Delta might have a few clouds, but I don't think it will impede the viewing. A good thing because there's a lot of people in central Utah this morning. You can see the path of this annular eclipse and you can see where it cuts through. So this will give you a good idea. If you kind of try to see through the path, you can see some of the clouds that will be moving in. So check out by 10 a.m. how we had a batch of clouds over central Utah that kind of pushes out into Price and Moab and Vernal. So there's going to be some areas that might have a few more clouds than what you want out there. And some of those inc areas include north of Salt Lake and then over into portions of eastern Utah. Notice how all those clouds start filtering out of eastern Utah by 3 o'clock this afternoon and just a few wispy clouds moving into western Utah. Now as we get into tomorrow, we don't have any rain, but again, those clouds kind of move over central Utah. So we're lucky that the eclipse is today because by tomorrow in central Utah, those clouds are really socked in at eclipse time. Again, you'll want to keep an eye to the sky around 1030 this morning. Today's high in Salt Lake City will be a nice 70 degrees. The normal this time of year is 66 and we are just going up from here for a few days. The record is 82 and we are far from that. Look at the 20s this morning. Manti 24, Milford 29. Some of our visitors are thinking, "Ooh, it's a little crisp in central Utah. Delta, you're at 36. Logan's at 38. And the Wasatch Front ranges from the upper 30s to the 40s. Here's that hour by our forecast where you'll see just a few extra clouds right around eclipse time. I know it's not ideal, but I'm hoping from Salt Lake City South we'll still get a pretty good glimpse at the eclipse. And then you can see those temperatures that get very close to 70 degrees today, Christina. And I talked about a warm up coming and we'll talk more about that coming up.